Before you begin, remove the battery, service door, and optical disk drive. Removal. Remove the one 6mm P1 Phillips head screw identified with a keyboard icon that secures the keyboard to the base enclosure. Remove the one 4mm P1 Phillips head screw next to the system fan that secures the keyboard to the base enclosure. Using a probe tool, gently press into the optical disk drive bay until the keyboard releases from the top cover. Turn the notebook right side up and open the display panel fully. Using your finger or a flat bladed non marring tool, gently lift up on the rear edge of the keyboard to disengage the keyboard from the top cover. Slide the keyboard toward the rear of the notebook to release the tabs at the front of the keyboard. Turn the keyboard face down on the top cover. Important! Do not lift the keyboard farther away from the notebook than necessary to access the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Gently lift up on the locking bar to the keyboard ZIF connector and remove the keyboard ribbon cable. Important! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the keyboard. Replacement. Place the keyboard face down on the top cover so that the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector are accessible. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Tow the tabs on the bottom edge of the keyboard into the top cover. Press the keyboard flat until it engages with the top cover. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Replace the one 4mm P1 Phillips head screw 